Hi guys, I'm back, and I figured the best way to uh, test everything out, make sure that everything's working, which I think it is, if you're not hearing me, let me know, okay, if you, if you are hearing me, don't say a word, just kidding, alright, so I figured, I figured since we uh, finally got the internet back up and running, we would try a little test stream here, and I figured the best way to do that is, um, go through the memories that way uh at least it's all in one place if somebody wanted to go watch them like me and go back and see them because uh they unlock quite a bit of the story uh and it and it's very interesting to see i think it's going to be interesting to see them in order as they were supposed to be seen because i ended up seeing them out of order finally got to the last memory and saw it and was like this story completely changes Excuse me. So what I think we'll do is we'll start with this. And if everything works out all right, then we might move on. I have uh, unlocked the Champion's Ballad because I've, I've done them. I'm already in the Shrine of Resurrection. But I figured before we get that all started, let's do a recap and take a look at the memories because these are the five memories that i need to unlock through the champion's ballad but let's do it let's start off with the first one and go from there hero of hyrule chosen by the sword that seals the darkness you have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that, that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. In the long distant past, the sword Gee, this is uplifting. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. That feels kind of odd to start with that memory. I don't know, that's just me. I hope these are in order. I, I mean, I'm just throwing it out. They, they say memory one, two, three. Yeah, I'm hoping these are in order. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? 
Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! So, if you go by the memories, uh, apparently... Ruvali is theoretically the first beast you should uh, unlock. Alright, let's go to the third one. From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts, so much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Moving on to four. piloting a toy like this around. Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this, Pew? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this Calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words. I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guys? <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> Alright, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send down a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. So I gotta say, I was hoping putting them all together would... Uh... I don't know, make it seem like everything is cohesive, but I still feel like there's a lot missing. Let's let's move on to number five. And maybe it's because of the Divine Beast ones interjecting they seem out of place. Nothing. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. 
But designs can always be worked around. At least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the King's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! I think Link and Zelda are having a, a quarrel. Alright, moving on to six. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <gasps> Urbosa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Alright, so maybe maybe I'm starting to get some of this figured out here. So basically Zelda uh gives Link the Master Sword and expects this magic uh symbiosis, I guess, to happen between Link and the sword, and it's not happening. That's why she's distancing herself from Link. This is my guess, because she feels like, she should have the power to imbue the two together, and then he can defeat Ganon. At which point, it's not happening, because A, the ceremony failed where she tried to forever bind the Master Sword to Link's soul. She's asked if, it's, if she's hearing, or he's hearing, the voices from the sword. Uh, she's doing all this other research, and she's not finding that connection? That's my guess. I think that's what's going on. So it's not that she doesn't like Link or that she's upset with him. It's that she's upset with herself because the one thing to save everything is between Link and the Master Sword, and it's not working.
Notice the sword is not glowing. That's why she looks at him like this. He's finally getting the picture. I think. Because even though he's not communicating with the sword yet, he's trying. That's my guess. That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. So, I guess I assumed when I first saw this that Link had gone through and destroyed all of them. Because she says that's a pretty deep cut. Um, but obviously that's not it. So this this is why you kind of need... Because I, this, I think, is the very first memory I saw, which kind of delves into them already having an established relationship, which is why I think I'm a little confused. But it's making sense as we go down through them. There's one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. That I go about picking. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Oh, is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. I think Zelda likes to play games. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child, always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know, perhaps.
perhaps we could spend some time together. So I'm assuming Mifa must not be around at the end. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter? Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? All right, so obviously they're uh, starting to move around and, and travel together. So let's let's see. This is he he confines her to a room. I know that much. But let's see where we're going. Incredible. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? I... I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess- And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope, my hope is that you- that you allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. And command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. All right, so she's not confined to a room. But she's not to be at the castle. She's supposed to be unlocking her power. I think that's what's going on here. I could be wrong, but I think what's going on is she is putting all of her hope in the champions and in Link while she's trying to get her powers that she's looking for. And she is feeling like a failure because she can't get it. 
So I think that's the whole point of why her hope is in the divine or the, the champions, you know, in their divine beasts and Link and all that other stuff. But the real responsibility is on her unlocking her power in order to handle Calamity Ganon. Let's go to the next one. What are we up to? 13. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again, he always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She's supposed to be unlocking a power within herself, and she can't do it. This is kind of why you need to watch these in order. All right. Moving on. Be sure to take the time to soothe your mount. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. And this little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? See that mountain? That's Mount Lanero. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanero's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go, and make my way up the mountain. Alright. Move on to 15. Putting it all together. Keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? Um. So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry, no. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. 
After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... when I think about... <laughs> Stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must... There must be something I can do to help. Alright, so yeah, this is where it's going. So basically everybody's ready to fight, but Zelda still doesn't have her power. Ganon. It turned them all against us. And everyone, Nifa, Rebosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything, everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. No, I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. Let's do it. This is where it all comes together.
hold. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. So it was because of Zelda getting her power finally that basically knocked Link out. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? a sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. Words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. So, there we have it. The, uh, the end of the, the memory there leaves you with the whole idea that it is going to take a combined effort of everybody. However, uh, Zelda got her power a little bit late, is what, what we're seeing here. And Link, uh, from what I can understand, never even had the connection with the sword until he passed out, or whatever you want to call it. So literally, it has been a hundred years. So Zelda apparently is trapped in the the castle, keeping Calamity Ganon at bay, waiting for Link to wake up and come and save the day, which is why I had to go take care of the Divine Beast, because they were subdued by Ganon. So what I think we're going to do is that was a that was a good recap. We got to see them all in order. I think I have a better understanding of the game. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to wrap it up. I got to make sure, like I said, we just got the uh, the internet back up and running today. So I'm going to go take a little, little break, double check this, make sure everything's all right. And then I think what we're going to do is try and go through the Champion's Ballad, which I think unlocks these five new memories. Uh, and I think it, it goes, delves deeper into the... Um, the champions and we'll go from there all right thanks for watching guys thanks for uh, hanging out with me thanks for getting caught up like i said this I'm, I'm glad i got to watch them all in order i feel like i have a better understanding of where the story is going what happened why we are where we are uh i wish there was a better way to have viewed them all from the beginning in order but that would be for another day so i will be back we're gonna do some more memories and we'll see where we go from there i don't think i'm ready for uh for ganon just yet but we'll see i'll see you guys in a bit